Hello everyone. We, the Operations Forum, are back with a new and informative video. We hope that you have seen our last video on Material Requirement Planning. If not, then click on the icon or visit the Operations Forum YouTube channel for more such videos. Today, we will be discussing about Capacity Management. So let's jump right into it. Capacity Management refers to the act of ensuring whether a business maximizes its potential activities and production outputs at all times and under all conditions. The capacity of a business measures how much companies can achieve, produce and sell within a given time period. The three types of capacity planning in operations management are the product capacity planning, the workforce capacity planning and the tool capacity planning. Now, under the capacity management process, there are three steps. The first one is calculating the capacity. The second one is determining the resource needs. And the third step is prioritizing what to work on. The companies that poorly execute capacity management may experience diminished revenues due to unfulfilled orders, customer attrition, and decreased market share. As such, a company that rolls out an innovative new product with an aggressive marketing campaign must commensurately plan for a sudden spike in the demand. The inability to replenish a retail partner's inventory in a timely manner is bad for a company. Businesses, therefore, face inherent challenges in their attempts to produce at capacity while minimizing the production costs. For instance, a company may lack the requisite time and personnel needed to conduct adequate quality control inspections on its products as well as services. Furthermore, the machinery might break down due to overuse and the employees may suffer stress, fatigue and diminished morale if pushed too hard. The capacity management theory consists of the planning, IT monitoring and administration actions undertaken to ensure that information technology resources have the capacity to handle data processing requirements across the entire service lifecycle. The goal of capacity planning management is to ultimately balance costs incurred against the resources required as well as balance the supply against demand. The capacity management procedure concerns performance, memory as well as physical space and should cover both the operational and development environment including hardware, human resources, environment, networking equipment, peripherals and software. Let's look at a few examples of capacity management. A call center can field 7,000 calls per week. A cafe can brew over 800 cups of coffee per day. An automobile production line can assemble 250 trucks per month. A car service center can attend to 40 customers per hour. A restaurant has the seating capacity to accommodate over 100 diners. The main objectives of project management capacity planning are as follows. Identify the IT capacity requirements to meet current and the future projected workloads. Develop and maintain a capacity management plan. Ensure the performance goals are met on time and within the stipulated budget. Monitor capacity continuously to support the service level management. Assist in diagnosing and resolving the incidents. Analyzing the impact of variances on capacity and take proactive measures to improve performance where it is most cost effective. The challenges faced by capacity management are making sure that accurate business plans are provided for basing the capacity plan, collecting and combining a large amount of data that is available in a way that is supportive of the process, the advantages of capacity planning in operations management. Strategizing capacity in operations management ensures that systems are operating at adequate levels to achieve the company goals without over-provisioning resources. By identifying and eliminating extraneous activities, the companies can reduce costs and increase their efficiency. Accurately anticipating resource needs encourages more effective purchasing to accommodate the future growth. Production obstacles such as bottlenecks and equipment failures can be predicted and avoided altogether with constant monitoring of hardware as well as software operations. For any queries related to capacity management, feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section below. We will make sure to address the same. 
Stay tuned for more such interesting content from the Operations Forum. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.